Hello guys, welcome to AI Sciences once again and today we are going to build a typing speed calculator as it is shown in thumbnail as well. So for that we need to import two libraries first, first is time library that will uh, help us cal calculating the time and second is random library, I mean that will help us uh, picking up the random items. Um, let's run it okay great so the next thing is we need to have a lot of strings in my case I have a list of only three strings but ideally we need to have you know a lot of strings a bundle of strings so um, I have three strings subscribe to AI sciences hello to Python and AI is future right so okay so what I'm going to do is I'll say strings of and here if I'll say zero it will get me subscribe to AI sciences which is the first string if I, I say two it will get me the last string which is at index two right okay so what if I do something like this random dot rand and I need I think yeah rand end. and here I need to pass two variables first is the the initial limit which is zero and the second variable uh, variable uh, should be or parameter should be the the upper limit which in our case it's two or perhaps you can say um, length of strings okay and length of strings in our case would be let's check it out so it's three right but indexing uh, since it starts from zero so it ends on uh, one uh, one one number before the length of string so we'll say length of string minus one right so now it will generate only those numbers that are inside the indices of of this this string right great so so I'll, I'll just copy this actually I'll cut it from here and I'll paste it over here right so let me say random index equals to me paste it over here and then let me oh sorry let me copy this from here and let me paste it over here right so it will it will get me the random um, uh, string every time right right okay so I mean ideally you'll be having like dozens of strings over here um, so so this code will work exactly fine for you great Okay, so the next thing is what we are going to going to do, to do is um, we need to find the word count, right? So how can we find the word count in the string? We'll say length of string, right? String of let's say um, random. Um, let yeah, let's let's write random index over here, right? So find its uh, its length, right? But before that, I need to um, I need to have this string inside a variable called string, right? Let me just copy this equals to strings of random index, and then let me let me print the string as well. And here um, I'll also print the the word count of string. So here I'll say string dot split. So it will split the string based upon the spaces inside the string, and then we'll also print the word count as well. So subscribe is one let one word, two is the other word, AI is the third word, and sciences is the fourth word. So we have a word count four in in this string. Let me run it again, uh, again. Um, okay so um, okay right so the next thing what we are going to do we are going to write our, our main loop in which let's say um, it will be an infinite loop so we'll say while true so first thing first we, we will uh, do something like this we will fetch a random string right and actually yeah we need to do this every time right so let's do something like this okay so first of all we'll be fetching the random index right and then we'll be um, 
uh, we'll be getting uh, a random string obviously and then what we are going to do is we are going to let's say print the string right so that user can see okay I have to write this string and then we'll say time 0 equals to time dot time comes from this library library that we have imported before so time 0 is this I mean this is the time before we start uh, we start writing and then we will take in put text and how can we how can we take input we'll say in put and here will be will be prompting like enter the or we perhaps you can say write the sentence okay and also uh, just to make sure we have to wrap it inside a string great and then we'll also calculate the time one um, like when the user had has finished writing it so we'll say time dot time Right. So we have starting time, we have ending time. If we subtract, subtract these two times, we'll get the the time that is being utilized. Okay. So the next thing is we'll say if input text is equal equals to um, zero, then um, then just print take care. I mean we need to have some way out of this. Uh, uh, this infinite loop so if user will enter 0 uh, this loop will break okay so here we are going to calculate the accuracy and how can we calculate the accuracy so what we'll do is we'll say set okay we will convert the input text into set split right and we will take its um, we'll use and operator to um, to compare it with the, with its original string split okay so it will compare it word by word and the number of words that are correct it will return those many ones and then we will get the length of those many ones right so we'll be having the accuracy over here uh, but not the final one it will get us only the correct words so let me uh, change it to correct words right okay so now how can I get the accuracy I'll get the accuracy by dividing the correct words with the word count right word count oh where is word count we need to have word count over here right so yeah great so now we we have word count as well yeah looks fine and then we have accuracy now we need to uh, calculate the time so let's say time taken equals to t1 minus t0 it will return times a time in seconds right and the next thing is we will calculate word per second right now I'm going to calculate word per second and later on I'll also calculate uh, word per minute so word per second would be word count divided by time taken simple and then here we'll just print um, a little bit of summary uh, so let's say let's say word per second um, it would be word per second right and then sorry accuracy would be accuracy and also we, we if we multiply it with 100 it will display the accuracy in terms of percentage and then um, the next thing is time taken right and it will be um, time taken will be shown over here and also uh, let's just print um, the next line next line for the sake of um, just for the sake of clarity uh, clarity of the output right so yeah looks fine looks fine looks great so let's run it 
and it says that write sentence but uh, so so this sentence we have to write it over here so let's say ai is future i hit enter so it says that your your speed of word per second is 0 0.2625 and accuracy is 100% since i i written everything exactly correctly so my accuracy is 100% time taken is 11 seconds right now if i have to write hello to python over here so i'll say hello to so let me write a uh, wrong spelling of two t double o two python right if i hit enter it he, here you can see that my accuracy is decreased and time taken is also greater since i was explaining the previous one so let me enter zero over here in order to quit so it says take care bye bye okay so um so this is how you can you can display your speed in word per second if you want to display your speed in word per um per minute it's not very difficult so all you have to do is you have to multiply word per uh, sorry you have to divide word per, per second um, by 60 and it will it will get you the word per minute uh, speed so word per second is here let me write um, word per minute right and then here I'll say word per minute right let me run it again so it says subscribe to AI CIEN sciences right so um, no uh, oh yeah I've, I've made a mistake over here it should not be like that so it should be like this um, let me copy this from here and paste it over here so basically I have to divide time with 80 so uh, sorry time with 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 the uh, with 60 um yeah now it should work fine uh, so it says ai is future if i enter hit enter so word per second speed is this and word per minute speed is this so if i go with exactly same tempo i can write 33 words in one minute right and um, in order to write these three words i i spent actually 5.3 seconds and my accuracy is uh, looks fine right so i mean if you have bundles of words uh, you can you can um, um, i mean i have only three sorry i have only three sentences not words if you have many 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 sentences uh, then you can play around with it uh, pretty much accurately and pretty much you, you can train yourself for typing as well so yeah that's about it that's about it let me quit it so yeah um, that's what we wanted to make and we are uh, pretty much successful in, in it please subscribe this channel and we post two videos every week so that you don't do not miss any video on our channel thank you